Welcome back to Yakuza Infinite Wealth. Well, uh, we saved Kiryu, but we finally talked him into going back to Japan because of how sick he is. Will he actually do it? I have no idea. We'll see. Excuse me. That was rough, wasn't it, Kazuka-san? Regardless, you did great. I can't believe you res rescued Kiryu-san so quickly. Really? No, I can do only so much, but I'll help you look for Kani-san and Lani as best I can. We're flying Kiryu-san back to Japan tomorrow. And naturally, we'll be covering Nambasan's ticket home as well. You can continue using the safe house too, if you like. <laughs> Rest assured, our goals are aligned so long as you stay focused and continue to search for Kani-san. Oh, Namba's leaving? Oh, he just joined the party, which makes me sad. <clears throat> Kiryu-san's leaving prob- leave- Kiryu-san's Kiri Kiri leaving is probably gonna take some getting used mm -hmm. to. We'll have to work even harder from here on out. <clears throat> Gazuma Kiryu risked everything he had to stop Yamai. He's yet another person I owe my life to. For that, I'm grateful. I'm sure to repay- uh, I'll be sure to repay him, though I can't do much right now. Once we regain control, I'll give him the be be very best doctor there is. Man, please join my party. You're cool. What's up? Sounds like everyone's settling. Uh, settled. Wanna call it a day? <laughs> Although, if you're going somewhere, I'll tag along. We've got a new party member. Now, Dachi-san's here. Dachi! Namba to look. Namba, look out for Kiri, no problem. <laughs> As for me, I'm trying to think about how to spend my first night here in Hawaii. Dang, I might be a little insensitive to go out after all that. If that's the case, I can give it a day. <clears throat> I'm gonna end the day. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, I got stuff to do tomorrow. I'll have to sack. All right. Yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, I wonder if he's actually gonna leave. Oh my god, he's actually leaving? With Namba, my man? Aww. Okane san and Lani need our help. Let me know when you find him. Hey, you know it. In fact, you'll be the first on the list. care of yourself yeah well be seeing you Ichiban uh actually hang on you got a sec huh oh <laughs> <laughs> look at you barely just got here and Chichan's got you wrapped around her finger Sachan's old news now, is that it? You dog. Hey, look, it's nothing like that. But besides, man, she's like 20 years younger than me. Yeah, and I'm sure that's got its perks. Come on, say it with me. Chi-chan. <laughs> <laughs> You're nuts. You know, you came all this way. It's a shame we didn't get to hang out like this. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> Well, do me proud, Namba. <laughs> Always. See ya. Dragon of Dojima left everything to you. Bet you're feeling the pressure now, huh, Ichiban? <laughs> yeah. Still. I won't let him down. So, how about it? You got any more ideas for how to find those two? 
Don't tell me you're gonna upload another video and sit back. Hey, it's not like that was for nothing, right? For all any of us know, Akane-san could message him any second. Akane-san worked as the director of an orphanage. What's more, Polycana ran the place. There's a thought. Polycana folks will probably know a thing or two. We've already been there, though. We may not have known about Bryce's identity at the time, but we didn't find any clues either. Besides, they're not the type. None of them would have ties to a gang or anything. Maybe so, but it's a lead all the same. And it's the only one we got. We'll just have to go and see for ourselves. Sounds like a plan. A good cop always revisits the scene of the crime. Oh, looks like we're going back to the orphanage. Kiri and Namba left the party. I'm feeling great! Ah, oh, that sucks, but what can uh, you do, I guess? Wall coming. Oh. Volleyball. Alright, any side quests appearing? Oh, we got one. Embracer Wild. Oh, yeah. And Love and Punishment. Overdue Heart to Heart. Alright, we'll do those two side quests. Because right now the story set. Oh, wait, there's another one. The Recycling. Oh, wait, I don't. Never mind. That's the Recycling Center. Alright, we'll go here. Do that one. I think I know what's gonna happen. That's the guy who plays the ukulele, but also has a wild, environmental-friendly side. Hey. Hey, Pete. Hi, Kazuya. Did you also come to see Mr. Gold? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, did you come to see Matt Tropico concert? Pretty much. I was just thinking about inviting you. Uh -huh. Me? Yeah. Yep. I figured if you're gonna be leaving town soon, then best ma uh, best you make as many fun memories as you can. His style's changed. Yeah. The fact that he wants to cheer other people up sure hasn't. It'd be great if his songs could do the same for you. That way, you could face your fears with a positive answer. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're right. Thanks. I was actually kind of on the fence about going. I mean, technically, Mr. Golem doesn't exist anymore. But it might be fun if we go together. We still have time before it starts. But could we go to the venue now? Yeah, let's go. Totally. All right, let's go. Yeah. Cool. I think I know what's going to happen. He's going to embrace the past. Look at this crowd. Matt Tropical sure is popular. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, there's the man of the hour himself. Hello, everyone. Welcome and thank you for coming in today. Let's have a great time together. All night long. Now for the first song. In Search of Venus. Wow, that song goes on for a while. Man, this concert's really swinging. You're not oh. getting tired, Pete? No, I'm fine. Everyone looks like they're having a lot of fun. But you're not? No, I am. All of his songs have been really good. It's just... not the same. Ugh. <sighs> All right, this will be my last song tonight. Uh, so thank you all so much for coming to my concert. This last song is dedicated to the person who supported me all this time. And I, I hope that at the very least, it gives him the courage he needs right now. What's going on? 
Did I'm... someone just hijack the company? <laughs> Can he even do that? Who the heck is he anyway? Where's Matt? Uh, Mr. Golem! Hey, I heard there was a crybaby in town who's scared of a little surgery. Boo hoo! How pathetic! I came running over because I figured my song would give him a little kick in the ass. Damn, it's not just a look. His whole personality did a 180. I love how they're the only two enjoying it. Oh my god. That was amazing. Yeah, that was one hell of a concert. I mean, beast. Now I can die happy. No, please don't. Um, thank you so much. I've always been a fan, so... That just made me really, really happy. Now, hey, don't mention it. You gonna go through with the surgery? Yeah, I will. I think I'm brave enough now. Well, I'm still a little scared, but your song gave me the push I need. Because I want to go to another one of your concerts. <laughs> of course you do. I ain't letting you off easy if you die, kid. You gotta keep listening to my songs. You got it. Ain't that great. I'm so ashamed of myself, Kasuga. And I'm not talking about the outfit. I'm talking about how there are people moved by my own music, but... But I still try to lock up and hide away my past anyway. Music that can reach lots of people is great, fantastic, yeah, but... But in the end, it doesn't matter how many people are listening to your music. As long as it can move at least one person, as long as it can give them the courage they need, then, then that's enough. That alone makes music truly wonderful. Thank you for helping me realize that. I'm proud that both Matt Tropicos and, and, and Gollum Gunwolf's music can move other people's hearts. They're two sides of a coin that make me who I am today. Here, as thanks, it's all yours. Ooh, a signed golem shirt. <laughs> I'm just glad you think so now. It might have taken you a long time to figure it all out, but every step of the journey was worth it, yeah? You can totally rock both styles. Ain't that right, golem gunwolf? Hey, I, I ain't done with y'all yet. Hear the earth cry out. Here's Potato in Paradiso Tropico! Woohoo! And everyone leaves. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna sell. I think that's a pound to me. He comes out playing. I feel like that's a pound to me. No? Okay. Mm. All right, that kid's is done. Now we're gonna go over here. Phew! Oh, I got the hiccups over here. I'm sorry. Oh. Hello. Nuts de coco. I'm friends with nuts de coco. Good to go. Aloha. Yeah. Aloha. Hello. Hey. How's it going? Hi, 
There's a lot of people on the beach that I'm not friends with. Alright, we're getting there. Wait a second, are we going back to lifeguard duty? Why? I could take on anything. Now you're really pissing me off. It's only a little alcohol. I'm on vacation for Christ's sakes. <clears throat> beach guardian. No kidding around. The rules are the rules, my friend. No booze on the beach. No suds on the sand. And you're being a disturbance. Forget it. Screw this beach cop. Let's go. Hey, hold it, man. Huh? Forgetting something? Excuse me, asshole? You looking for trouble? What? I saw you walking away without this, so I returned it. One good turn, yeah? Now, if that's all settled, you can be on your way. Next time, try showing a little respect, would you? <laughs> Eesh. Hey, thanks for the backup. Guess I got a bit outnumbered. <laughs> no problem. You run into guys like that a lot. Mm, more than I'd like. With all the tourists in this area, it's bound to happen. Folks who are used to getting everything their way back home have a hard time playing by the rules. My biggest concern is that they might end up harming the law-abiding beachgoers. That'd be bad. Well, no point in standing here worrying about it. Beach cop or not, I've got Seaside to safeguard. A lot of innocent people on the surf today. Raymond's got a serious look in his eyes. Should I pitch him for lifeguard duty? Need any help today, lifeguard? I'd never say no to my trusty companion. What should I do? Water bottle handouts again? Let me see. Today... Help! Excuse me, have either of you seen my daughter? Your daughter? Is the poor girl lost? She is. I looked down at my phone for a moment or two and she just disappeared. Not to worry, ma'am. We'll find her. Could you give us a description of the little one? Um, her name is Emmy. She was wearing a red swimsuit and a straw hat with a blue ribbon. She's six. I can't think she'd have gone far. Red swimsuit, blue ribbon on a straw hat. Got it. Ma'am, please return to your original location. Your daughter might already have wandered back. All right. Thank you so much for helping me. Guess the water bottles can wait. In this case, little Emmy is likely alone and terrified. We need to move. I'll start out yonder. Okay. I'll, uh, look over that way. Catch you later. All right. Red bathing suit, straw hat with a blue ribbon. Oh, they don't actually mark it either. Okay. We're looking for a girl. You're not who I'm looking for. She's wearing a red bathing suit and no hat. That's a blue swimming suit. Oh. Red bathing suit, straw hat, blue ribbon. Oh, wait! Emmy! Is that the missing girl, Emmy? Sup? Hey there, is your name Emmy? Your mother's looking for you. Uh -huh. huh? My mommy? Uh -huh. Oh, I was chasing this hermit crab. I forgot all about mommy. Mommy, where are you? <laughs> Amazing how kids can focus on one thing and forget the world around them. Okay. She's waiting for you back at your spot. I can take you there. Okay. Uh, 
My little Emmy. I was so scared after she disappeared like that. I'm sorry, Mom. I don't know how to thank you. Lifeguard, you're a hero. <laughs> oh, it's no big deal. Glad everyone's okay. Stay with your mom from now on, yeah? Uh-huh. Thank you, Big Nose. Okay. Oh, sure. Champ, you saved the day again. I'm humble. <laughs> Hey, it was nothing special. Just happy it all worked mm -hmm. out. How often do kids get lost around here? It's terribly common. Parents get distracted, children see something that like sparks their interest. Help, please. Excuse me, my son <laughs> Billy has gone missing. I looked away for a moment and he was gone. Raymond wasn't kidding. A poor lost child? Yes. Oh dear, where could he be? Not to worry, ma'am. We'll find your boy. Could you give us a description, complete? Description, please. Billy's wearing white swimwear and an orange baseball cap. Okay, white with orange baseball cap. Maybe he's playing nearby somewhere? White swimwear, orange baseball cap. Understood. Hmm, this sounds familiar. In fact... Ma'am, please... No, no, uh, no. Please return to your original location. You may have wandered back. Of course. Thank you so much for your help. All right, we should split up again and find this Billy kid. Absolutely. We'll find his lab come hell or sweet seawater. Oh, I'm going this way today. Nope. Nope. Oh, wait, it's the mother. Is that the mi no? No. Oh, I was hoping I could just chat with them. But no. No, no. That's a blue baseball cap, and those trunks are not white. Orange baseball cap, but not white trunks. Uh huh. Is this the missing boy, Billy? Sup? Are you Billy? Your mother can't find you and she's worried. Let me take you to her. Huh? My mom? Oh, nuts. I just wanted to play in the sand on my own. Why is she gotta cry about it? Nuts and beans. Leave it to me. Sorry, but I need to take you back to her. Come on, okay? Yeah. Okay. My adorable little silly Billy. Mommy's glad you're all right. <laughs> Jeez, I only want to play in the sand. Never, Mom. Thank you so much, lifeguard. I owe you the world itself. <laughs> Just be uh, relieved he's okay. <laughs> Treat your mom well, kid. She loves you. Fine, I'll stick with her from now on. Thanks, fuzzball. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, another child protected from the waiting clutches of the fickle Poseidon. Okay. I'm glad we were able to find them. Kids really do run off, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kids are like moths, never grain of sand on this glorious shores of flame. Curiosity is a health thing in youngsters, but we all know what too much of it. Cats. That's why we're here to avert disaster. To tell you the truth, this sort of thing practically hits home. Wow. I bet. You must have saved an unbelievable number of kids if this happens so often. <laughs> well, yes, I have. However, I'm actually thinking about the time I needed something. Hmm? Really? I was just a tyke. I came to this beach with my family. I was so delirious with fun and adventure, I found myself in a deserted cove. Suddenly, I sprained my leg. I couldn't make my way back. Whoa. <laughs> but then a lifeguard came looking and rescued me. It was the most incredible feeling I've ever had. That sensation of safety and relief. That's what I'm here to deliver to anyone who needs it. As best as I can. That explains a lot. 
a crazy thing for you to go through. Yeah. Mm. It's like meeting a real life superhero. From that day on, I pledged myself to lifeguard. A va a va I pledged myself to that lifeguard, vowed to take up his vigil against Cove and Coast. That was when I knew I'd be a lifeguard. Oh. How about that? It's your origin story. <laughs> Maybe those kids today feel that way too. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy if they were so. But I know from experience most will forget it ever happened and remember the beach is nothing but a playground. <laughs> right, gotcha. <laughs> well, we still did good work today, all the same. I even got to earn a little more about you. <laughs> That's not much of a prize. You deserve some more for helping little Emmy and Billy. Here, take this for me. Heartfelt Golem, reading this American comic will improve your kindness. Thanks. Hey, thank you. I gotta prepare for my next watch, so I'd best be. Take going. it easy, champ. You're still welcome to help me whenever you got time, friend. Oh, uh, wait, what? Just. What? Ah, what? Ah, ah, ah. We're gonna ignore the happens. <sighs> what an experience that turned into. Prevent heat stroke, find lost kids. What's next? These lifeguards are way more than just beach cops. I have to admire how much there is to t t take care of here. I better come back again when I can. Alright, which one of you guys destroyed the surfboards in the we're background? Alright, where are you? Material growth items. Nope. I could use the magazine. Nah. Alright, that's a nice side quest. And now we have this one. And now we do heart to heart. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember this one. Also, I have to say, at this moment in time, I've enjoyed basically all the side quests, but I think two of them were meh. Maybe three, but I've done a lot of side quests. Ooh, wait. There you are. Oh, I got no tickets. Ooh, I want that. I need a master ticket. All right, side quest is dead ahead. Wait, side quest? No, it's not the basketball. Okay, no. Okay, wait a second. I'm re- Oh! This is the one with the chick who scammed me and drugged me. Roy. And this is her rich friend who I think has a crush on her. Hey, that's Zach, right? And Marion's boy, Kyle. Hey. Yo, you two having fun? Oh. Oh, Kazuga. Yeah. Marion asked me to watch him for the afternoon while she took care of some things. <laughs> Isn't he the cutest kid? <laughs> took care of things, huh? Hi. You're the man from before, right? Hello. Okay. Hey, hello. It's nice to see you again. You really never know everything he and his mother are going through. He's just a normal, happy kid. That's right. I forgot you two already met. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's Mama's friend. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any idea where Marion went, by the way? I don't think so. She just said she'd be back by nighttime and play with him in the park till then. In the park, huh? I wonder if she wanted the kid out of the house for some reason. Oh no. Hey, sorry, but I need to run right now. Kyle, you can get some sack, yeah? Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Hehe, <laughs> Mama's got so many friends. You better try hard if you want to be your best what? one. Huh? What's that supposed to be, Kyle? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, come back here. Uh. -oh. <laughs> I can't let that kid smile fade me. I'll check on Marion, see if everything's okay. Ooh. Ooh. No. No, 
not gonna lie, I know where that is going. Why would a mother want the kid out of the house? Mm. Shinamaru. I'm shocked I can say that without stumbling over words and everything else. Wait, what? A side quest just appeared. There are blue ones over here too, huh? What? Even the flowers here are so different from Japan. I can't get over it. These chickens remind me of the one I had before. You had a pet chicken, Adachi son? Yep. Bought one of the dyed chicks from a temple festival years ago and raised it myself. Wait, you mean you got to eat fresh eggs with your rice every single day? Nope. It was male, so no eggs. <laughs> that meant. Don't tell me you ate. Well, he'd wake me up in the morning like an alarm clock. Whew. Glad he didn't end up on the grill. We're really opening up. Oh. That is an Adache thing we never knew before. He raised a chicken. Okay, Phoenix, how you doing? I got you your food. A jumbo egg, which is actually really good healing. I also want to do the labyrinth. I really want to do the labyrinth. The problem is, I know things. By things, I mean, where is it? Where's, ah, there it is. Yeah. I'm going to finish the side quest. Should I save the labyrinth for its own episode? Because I'm going to be in it for a while. <clears throat> Alright, I'm worried. Okay, man. Oh, thank God. Not going to lie, I was worried she slit her wrist in the bathtub. Mary is talking to a police officer? This can't be her way of turning herself in. Does she just hand the, the guy cash? <laughs> Not bad. But we've been getting more, even more tourists tell me, like, you could do better next time, I bet. Dan, there's not gonna be a next time. I can't anymore. Huh? What's that? I done taking advantage of people just to support myself. I want a better life. Where the fuck did this come from? I'm turning myself in. I'll serve time, I'll... <laughs> <laughs> That's a real goddamn good one, Mary. Did some doe-eyed John tell you to say that? You don't understand jack about the world, do you? You do time, nothing changes. Hell, you get out, things will be even harder as an ex-con. I'm doing put food on your table, girl. You and that brat would have starved if not for the goodness of my heart. You're not running a charity, I've been paying you. Exactly. That's the way it works. If you got, got any funny ideas elsewhere, Oh, el elsewise, I'll take you in my son. <laughs> of course, in that case, I'll make sure you never see that kid of yours again. Fine, then. Better than him finding, it about, finding out about you. I'm not telling them everything, understand? Everything will both go away. Ah, oh, Mary, bad idea. I don't want to have to do this. The word of a public servant against the word of a whore. Come on. Don't you know us cops are everyday heroes? Who'd believe a word coming from you? I would. Huh? Huh? I, it never made sense to me. Why is known for cracking down on prostitution? How come Marion... How could Marion have kept this up as long as she has? I mean, she's good, but almost not, no one's good enough to hide forever. Not without some bastard pulling huh? strings. Wh who the hell are you? Put the gun down and never come near her again. Kazuga. Hmm, got yourself a guardian angel, huh? Isn't that sweet? And thwack. Oh, okay, I expect him to just smack her. One more piece of gutter trash than a wall shove away with the next ring. Time to clean the streets. Let's go then. I just to see the play. The battle is on! Yeah, he is a low life. Cool. Sure, I'll play with you. Break yourself! 
Ooh, that was a pit play. Alright. You wanna go? You're in it now. Got you now. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Ow! Let's go. Ow! Don't you know? Oh, come on. He's great. Going in. Okay, I'm up. There it is. Wow. There we go, Kamazawa. Let's get it done. Ooh, my magic just got raised. Be a shame if I did Open this to you. This ain't moonshot, fella. Looks like I'm up. Think that no one would believe Marion's story, huh? Maybe people who maybe people won't look kindly on things she's done still. Whenever someone's taken the wrong path, if they're serious about making things right, they'll always have my support. I'd recently put my faith in them. I'd certainly put my faith in them over some cop who gets off pointing his gun at a woman he's leeching cash from. So, get this through your head. I'm not just Marion who needs to- It's not just Marion needs to tone here. Understand? Huh? Excuse me? Huh? What the hell happened here? Get down on the ground right now. No. Listen, please, this man just saved my life from him. Huh? I've been- Paying him off to look the other way on prostitution and fraud. But when I told him I wanted to turn myself in, he pulled his gun and threatened to kill me. The man stopped him. Is she telling the truth, Danny? <laughs> okay, shit. Let's get you to the station and we'll take your statement. You too, miss. Alright. Hey. Um, I'm sorry, but do you think we have one more minute? She's not gonna leave. She just needs to speak to her family first. <sighs> Make it quick. Kasuga. I can't believe everything you've done for me, after how I treated you. I wish I could give you your money back. But this is all I have to offer. Fancy free mo- Ooh! I'll save those for... When I start a new class, I guess. Oh, wow, jeez, lady, you could have sold that and gave me the money. Zack? I'm counting on you to look after my son. Don't worry about a thing. I'm so glad I can do this for you. Take your time, and we'll see you again. Mm. Thank you. Kyle, I'll be going away for a little while now. I'm sorry I have to leave, but it's important that I do. I need you to be a good boy. And always treat Uncle Zack with respect. And if you can... <laughs> Forgive me for being so selfish. Okay. Mama? I know that... You've been working really hard for me. <laughs> Thank you for everything. Um, I promise I'll be just fine. And Uncle Zack and I will wait for you. So you can... Do whatever you have to do, Mama. Kyle. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be back, I swear to you. We 
we're gonna make your mama proud by hanging in there and growing up strong. Aren't we, Kyle? Yeah. You too, Zack. <laughs> Me too? If you do your best, maybe mama will make you my papa when she comes back. Kyle, that's not something... I mean, don't you worry about that. <sighs> that's <laughs> never too late to find a better future when you got people waiting for you. I know you'll come back from this. I know you can do good, too. It's gonna bring down the mood with that one for a bit, but that kid's character auto <laughs> looked not great. Wait, the side quest is back. Oh, beach, right. But, you wanna know what? I think we all want me to continue. And we're at a decent lull. Well, actually, technically, right now is a decent lull. At the next really decent lull, I'm going to. Those hibiscus flowers? Well, they you know, sure are pretty. Do Did you know? They symbolize trust, according to Japanese flower language. Oh, yeah? I'm surprised you knew that. Nah, I read it from a book way back. Wanted to catch your yeah. hostess's attention. Ah, you really went the distance. And did you learn any other flower meanings? Well, what I remember for sure is the slipper flower. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. What's it mean? I'll surrender everything I have to you. <sighs> Don't keep me in suspense, Kasuga. Yeah, you're only getting a flower and nothing else, man. All right. <laughs> All right, here you go, Milo. All right. Super suit. Oh, you're a raid. I was about to say, who is that? Sparkle Juggernaut? I'm, I don't have you. Time to unleash the I immediately regret fighting you. Okay, I'm up. Oh, you're weak to that, eh? Oh, come on. Well, I'll do that one. Looks like I'm up. Ready when you are. Got Let's see what this is. That's actually a really decent move. Every move I do, you're gonna be weak too. Actually, wild last. Nah. Break yourself. Say goodnight, heart. Just know you. All right. Hmm. What are you looking at? Hey, buddy, I got the suit for Sujimon gift. Now wait. Here you go. Token of friendship. How about it? Oh, that went fast for Super Sujimon. Uh, really? This is gonna be bad, isn't it? Alright, I'm in. It's so disturbing. Shooting star, strike for, strike one with for justice with a trusty stick and hula hula blue. Make allies brim with energy with a springy step and a jaunty rhythm. I'm extremely scared to use that. <laughs> uh, yeah, feeling groovy. Uh, oh wow, okay, sweet, we're here. All right, let's see what the cult's doing. Oh, they moved everyone, didn't they? So this is the place. Malikana's got quite a little setup going here. Yeah, but still, it's weirdly quiet today. Last time we came, there were kids everywhere. Oh, look, there's one. These kids are pretty friendly, right? Isn't that what you said? Yeah, no mistake. Something's off. I think they told Maybe the kids that the we're over their bad. eyes. Let them astray somehow. Guess that bit about rescanning the crime scene holds true. Hey, Kasuga? 
Could mean something here's changed. Maybe. Let's find out. It's probably not gonna be the best, so... Yeah, I'm pretty much healed, so I should be fine. The flames roared and swirled about. And so the enraged Nele, in all her wisdom, cast the greedy into the purging fires. <gasps> Rice? Isn't he supposed to be back at the island? The heck is he doing here? Hi, Bryce. Welcome, Kasuga. It's nice to see you again. Oh, those uh, swords. These are guys nice. are definitely a new addition. You don't seem too happy to see me. There a reason for the bodyguards? Ah, yes. These are Haku warriors. They are acutely sensitive to those who would wish me harm, you see. Dana and Callan out or something? Errand duty? If you have business with them, I can oblige. Though, I cannot stay the flame's judgment. Wongto's story. Was all that really true? Be real. What are you gonna do with all those kids? They're scaring me, Father Bryce. <laughs> Fear not, my child. No evil can withstand a Haku warrior's spirit. Oh, we're about to fight. That's what we idea. should do now is pray. Let us beseech Madame Nele to envelop them swiftly and painlessly. Great, a child's coming. How do you like that? He's got him taking pity on us. Akane-san took Lani and ran from here. That's why you're after her. You might act calm, but I know you're getting desperate. Oh, to the point you got. Normally, you keep oh, the dear. gangs out of the public eye. Getting the gang? Yeah, the mob. But right now, you've got all hands searching high and low. Palikana's flames purify everything they touch. They encompass all doubts, all hesitations, and return them to the ashes. What happens when you find them? Just kill them and move on? I will cleanse what I can, and must. And as for what that shall be, whatever, or whomever, <laughs> It is my role, granted to me by the flames, to determine. You're stalling! Answer the damn question! <sighs> Arrogant demon. May her fires have mercy on you. Bryce! Heretics, be gone! Okay. How bad is this going to be? The battle is on. Smoke. Behold, nasty ass smoke. <laughs> Who were they ever here at all? Who oh. were they ever here at all? Let's see you try. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. 
Do not use fire. Understood. Got you now. Let's see you try. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. Actually, I see throat punch. Going in. Okay, I'm up. Come from you guys. I'm even strong. Who knew I had it in me? Bryce, that bastard. I guess we're not chasing after him. What's going on here? <gasps> oh, Dana. Callan. <sighs> Kasuga. That's gonna be a hard one to explain to the people who's been worshipping him. I see. So Bryce really did send you out for errands, huh? Yes. He said the food bank was in urgent need of resupply and asked if we could pick everything up. We rarely get instructions like that from Bryce himself, however. So we did think it a little strange. Right. And then you came back to this. Yes. Uh, Kasuga... About what you said, Halekana's 
true intentions. I just find it so hard to believe. Where's it all coming from? Oh yeah, guess you wouldn't know. I mean, I had a feeling that was the case anyway. You and Callan and all. Well, you didn't seem like the type to hurt these kids. Not at all. Uh, honestly, we have no idea what you're talking about. We never knew Bryce was controlling the gangs, nor that he was after Akane's life. Callan, Dana, I know I'm an outsider here. Heck, I only touched down in Hawaii just a little bit ago. I can't blame you if you don't want to believe me. Not when these are such big claims. So, for what it's worth, I won't ask you to. That said, you saw what happened here with your own eyes. Those were Ganja, Barracudas, and armed Polycana members. They ganged up on us and tried to kill us. <laughs> far as Polycana goes, I say there's a lot you don't know about, and more where that came from. Now, with that in mind, if there's anything you forgot to tell us, would you please fill Where'd us in? Where'd she come from, and why did she away? For starters, we've been told that those who pilgrimage to Nele Island live in peace the rest of their days. As a result, many children here have been recognized as Haku and sent away. We've taught them they must keep the faith, that one day they can become Haku too. Of course, this has gone on for decades. <laughs> However, a long time ago, I told Callan about an experience I had. Nele Island had welcomed one of our kids, but I later saw them right here in Honolulu. Dana, you shouldn't. Once you go to Nele Island, Polykana says you're there for the rest of your life, right? Yes, so it shouldn't have been the case. At first, I thought maybe I was mistaken. Their face was totally different, after all. But still, they'd lived here for years and were practically family to me. The way they talked and behaved was just how I remembered. So, with that, I approached them and asked. They said I had the wrong person. You still think it was them, huh? I do. I don't know the details, but my guess is they underwent some kind of surgery. I mean, changing your face is one thing, but your voice is another. I'd know that voice anywhere. Without a doubt, it was the same child I thought to be on Nele Island. <sighs> I wanted to talk with them some more, but they ran off, almost as if they were trying to escape. Wow. Forcing kids to have plastic surgery to reconstruct their face? Uh, at least so far, I think it's a child. Never saw them again. So, wait, what's it all mean? The Nele Island kids are sneaking back under new identities or something? Long Toe's story does line up, if I remember right. Yeah, he said Bryce makes his followers faithful as can be. Then he slips them into Ganja and the Barracudas as spies. Dana, the kid you saw, what were they wearing that day? They were in a police uniform. Huh? Bryce isn't just shipping his pawns off into Hawaii's gangs. If he's got cops, he's probably got lawyers, politicians, and even businessmen. Anyone who holds some kind of power. Worse, he's built this over decades, with tons of people. Influence like that would give him control over the whole city, his own network. I see now. Haley Island's like a training facility. Bryce gets his pawns geared up and ready to go, then sends them back here. That can't be. He's a monster, that Bryce. He's been using your beliefs for his own gain. <sighs> what on earth do we do now? It just hit me. It just hit me. You know how... Mao Tov said that Bryce's face was the same 20 years ago as it is now. And they were just saying kids would go out and get their faces reconstructed. I think the Bryce we know now is not religious or anything. He does not have immortality in the gosses and blessing him. He is actually a child believer who believed in Bryce so much he himself has become Bryce. So throughout the ages or the the two there's two prices one from 20 and more years ago and then one now
so that's something I at least have going on in my brain is the Bryce we know now is not the original Bryce, but a new Bryce from yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I, I think I got that now. Oh, what are we supposed to say to that? And basically that Bryce is just a brainwashed puppet of the original Bryce's plans. I don't know. Look, you might have come to terms with all this, but I just can't do it. It's real, it's fake. I've got no idea. Even hearing all that, Polycana's teachings are all I know anymore. If they said I could go to Nele Island, I would go. I, I would want to go. That's what I taught the kids. That's what I believed. As far as my faith's concerned, I choose to stand firm. Oh. I need to get started on the children's dinner. Some of them won't ever have anywhere else, you know. This place is their last bastion from the world outside. If it's all right, for their sake, can you not mention any of this in front of them? Hang on a minute. You'd really send more kids out there? Even after everything we said? The chosen children only get sent to the island twice a month, and that's at the very most. Either on the new moon or a full moon. Suffice to say, they won't be doing so for a while. We've got to find Akane-san fast, before the next window rolls around. This orphanage needs answers. And we need to know if the island's safe. Maybe she'll have an idea or two, yeah? Now our mission's starting to pack on a lot of weight. No wonder the Dragon of Dojima is on the case. Yeah, but if we pull this off, we'll save more people than we know. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. Oh, wow, that's chapter seven. Oh, okay, and I still got an hour before I lie down, so. But yeah, I'm honestly thinking, because he said Bryce was the same age he saw back then. I think we are seeing a new Bryce kind of in our period of time, but it is a brainwashed puppet of the original Bryce with his missions in mind. There's n I. I extremely doubt religion or anything, and the goddess is going to bless him. Usually Yakuza games have straightforward main antagonists, and that is as straightforward as you can get as a guy just brainwashing and making puppets out of children. Return the Sunder. Oh, Kiryu. I'm still, son. I'm still shocked he's going back. Hear you, son. No. Oh. We're back in Japan already? Yep, you were out like a light. I almost thought I'd let you keep snoozing. Thanks for the wake-up call. That's yeah, your thing. Anyway, I just got an update from Ichiban. He said they nearly cornered the Sage of Palekana, but he ended up slipping away. And on top of that, Akane and Lani are still missing. Anything changes, he'll let us know right away. Sounds good. But as far as Hawaii goes, we're leaving that for him and the gang. Right now, you're seeing a doctor. Otherwise, you and I wouldn't be here. Yeah, I know. Nanbasan? Doctor. How's our guy holding up? I'm sorry to say, but he's only getting worse. He seems to be aware of that himself. <sighs> Honestly, I'm surprised he made it here on foot and not in an ambulance. The cancer's taken quite a toll on his body. God damn it. He must have a will of iron to have pushed himself this far. Is there really no hope for him left? To improve his chances, I recommend giving him round-the-clock care as soon as possible. Or, at the very least, some bed rest. Recuperating at home is another option. Yeah, right. But knowing him... Yes, he made it very clear he wasn't interested in any of that. And it is up to the patient to decide. All I can do as a physician is offer advice. 
Now, I imagine you've already done this, but if you could encourage him to start taking care of himself. Coming from a friend, his mind might change down the road. Yeah, that's what you think. This might not be my place to say, but he acts as though he's given up on recovery. It's almost like he's rushing to his death. I'm afraid there's no other way to put it. I'm sure it's frustrating watching him do that to himself. He's got a strong mind, a stout heart, and what was once impeccable physique. But he's also as stubborn as a mule. Yeah, tell me about it. Here you wants to die. Here, make yourself at home. Ichiban won't mind. Oh, Ugh, wait, are we sorry, staying with these two for a while? I'll find you a better place to hole up eventually. No, I'd honestly rather stay put. Less eyes on me here than some hotel. After all, I'm not even supposed to exist out there. All right, there's that. Hanawa-san actually told me a couple things. Like how I should call you Taichi Suzuki in public. That's my name whenever shit hits the fan. Sorry if it's throwing you off. No, I wouldn't say that. Uh, there is one thing, though. What? The doc was telling me earlier how you're not open to any treatment. Are you sure that's what you want? With all the recent advances in medicine, I'm sure you don't have much to lose by trying something. I can even ask around about options, things that are proven to help with cancer. Drop it. I've already heard enough. The Daidoji faction researched my condition to hell and back and found nothing. <sighs> and besides, it's not like I haven't tried anything. I was thinking I could hold myself together, at least until Akane and the girl were safe. But right in the thick of it, my body gave up on me. Guess I was a fool to hope. Curious, son. Mind if I come in? Go ahead. <sighs> you know, I was hoping you would rest, not work yourself to the bone. I'm serious here. Well, technically, this is resting for him. I'd rather him be sitting in a chair than him running out punching guys right now. Why else would you come all the way back to Japan? I just thought it wouldn't kill me to lend some support from the sidelines. Now, I've been looking into Polykana. Sure you can guess how that's going. The internet's a dumpster fire, ain't it? But hey, I'm sure Achan will figure something out. Look, I'm all for supporting the team, Kiryu-san. But sometimes, that means knowing when to take the bench. Don't waste your breath, Namba. Hmm. It's impossible to talk him out of anything. Wait. Namba, is this your doing? <laughs> yeah, I happen to bring some company. Oh, I didn't but don't worry. To see her. She's a face you can trust. <sighs> the moment you turn your back on him, that laptop's gonna be wide open. Even if all he does is type in circles. You brought Comey Jewel's leader? Yeah, why not? Son, he's an old friend. And apparently the queen of Ijincho. She runs the Liumang now, too. In other words, we're all outcasts. Where's Zhao? Haven't seen him in a while, too. And, uh, Jungin Han. Here. And don't flatter yourself. You're not the only one I know who's dead on paper. So relax. I'm sure the Daidoji people won't give you too much grief about me. Why are you here? 
Just thought I'd save a dying man the trouble of paying me a visit. Besides, in our world, you're pretty much the top of the food chain. And in that sense, the privilege is all mine. Surely that's reason enough. Hey, uh, it's not like I ratted you out to her. She just caught wind of you first, like a spider to the fly. I remember. Nothing happens in this town without the Comey Jewel knowing it first, huh? Mind if I take a seat? I brought some of the best Korean medicine money can buy. Okay, but as a former nurse, I can't exactly sign off on that for him. Well, it's not every day a dragon comes to town. And what better way to pay my respects? Yeah, it'll help ease him up. That doesn't surprise me. Kasuga's gonna be Kasuga no matter where he goes. I wonder how he draws so many people to his side. Is it that heroic charm of his? Heroic charm? <laughs> you may be onto something. Yeah. He does have this certain effect on you. But the more you're around him, the more you can't help but help him. Silly as it sounds, he might just be a real hero. Just don't tell him you said that. He'll be over the moon for weeks. What? I have something on my face? Kiryu-san, let me ask you. What's your all-time favorite food? Hmm. Why food all of a sudden? I'll put it another way. If you were about to die, what would you want to eat right before? Let's call it your last supper. Sunhi, what is with you right now? Is that really the way to ask? It doesn't bother me. But now that you mention it, what would be a good last meal? You see there? Nobody takes that long just to think up their favorite food. What's your point? I'm saying your complete lack of an answer only shows how little time you've spent on yourself. You've always lived your life for someone else. You even spent a decade in prison so your sworn brother wouldn't have to. Oh, Yakuza Really? One. He did that? The crime he took the fall for was patricide. After you got out, you ended up losing Yumi Sawamura, so you took her daughter Haruka under your wing. And now, here you are faking your own death, all to protect your loved ones. But with the real thing on the horizon, why not use these precious last days for yourself? Uh, you do have a point there, son He. And I agree. The thing is, I can't help but wonder. Yeah. Why do you care so much about me, anyway? There are a lot like you in the Komi Jewel. See, we once served the Jingon Mafia, who had absolute authority over our lives. But even with them long gone, their oppression still lingers in many of our hearts. I've seen too many of us waste away in fear and regret until there's nothing left. It kills me every time. Well, I don't remember asking for your guidance. True. But while you're in my town, you're on my turf. And if I let the dragon of Dojima die full of regrets, I'd never stop kicking myself in the ass. You've really got away with words. Do I look like I'm that close to death's door? Well, from what the doctors say, yes. Come on. I wouldn't say that. But from here on out, it really wouldn't hurt to focus on some self-care. At least, I think that's what Sunhee's getting at. Yeah, more or less. Focus on self-care, huh? Easier said than done. What would you guys do in my shoes? Huh? What would I do? Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> Don't tell me you can't come up with something on the spot. I can. Now, uh, let's see. Actually, I'd probably go unwind at the batting center. Hitting the ball's a bit like therapy. Especially after Jungi gives me sass. Uh, I don't know. I'd rather not put Curious on through anything strenuous. Right now, the man needs rest more than anything. Oh, for crying out loud. I'm not gonna collapse from batting. Good. <laughs> then let's go score a few home runs. Now? <laughs> 
Come on, it's now or never. Besides, the night is young and there's plenty to do. Kicking things off with baseball sounds like the start of a good send-off to me. You're really serious. <laughs> hey, count me in. I think Sonny's got the right idea. A night on the town will be good for you. Not like you were gonna lie down anyway, right? All right, you got me. But there's still some drink left, you know. Don't tell me the legendary dragon's concerned over a few drops of alcohol. Okay, from now on, if you're ever thirsty, I'll be the one to pour. When you've been in the business as long as I have, it's nice to finally share a glass on equal terms. And be honest here, would you rather get tipsy with me or Nanba? Well, when you put it that way. Oh, now you're just fighting dirty. No matter what you boys say, I'm coming with. My town, my rules, and don't forget it. Wait, are we actually playing the game? Oh, that is a slight remix of like a dragon's party game music. Huh, also Song Wee's in the party. I didn't expect that. I am now Kiryu. I also didn't expect that. She's an assassin. And also my menu completely changed to Kiryu colors. Ooh. Feels weird to be Kiryu. All right. Hey guys, how you doing? That's great. Let me see, flying thorns. It's a four, 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 four. All right, you're an assassin. You're, are you all about decks? Let me see, party jobs and why? Bloody bow gun, crit, and first claw. All right, you're an agility girl. Agility. Um, ba -ba -ba. there. And for the heck of it, why not? We'll give you some, not defense, not willpower. Uh, black belt. Oh, I burned down the green copy. I want to give you some boomerang breeze. All right, let's just go, I guess. Man, it feels nice to be back in the show. folks, can we ask you guys something? Oh, we just happened to lose our wallets. So, uh, mind handing over yours? Oh, of course. Hey, Miss Queen of Ijinsho, your subjects don't have any manners. Not my job to teach the village idiots. <sighs> and in true idiot fashion, they're embarrassing me in front of my guest. Worst possible timing, too. You don't have to feel embarrassed. They're also a plague where I'm from. Yo, we don't have a fucking day! You gonna give us your money or what? We're not giving you our money. Screw it! Let's just skip to the violence. Good thinking. <sighs> Here you, son. We'll handle it from here. Excuse me? I already know what you're gonna say. Don't waste your energy on these knuckleheads. You're gonna need that energy later. We're having the most damn fun you've ever had. Right, and didn't I just say, you're in my town, which makes you my honored guest. And it's a host's responsibility to clean things up. You guys. On that note, it's time to take out the trash. Get ready for some middle-aged whoop-ass. Okay. Bring it on. There's nothing worse than middle-aged whoop-ass. What? What are they? Kill oh. yourself, what's wrong? Oh no! Feeling all <laughs> he the cut the Ichiban! No, it, it's not that. I... I just... don't know what I'm seeing. Huh? Wait a minute. 
This must be what Kasuga was saying. About how his enemies would turn into monsters. Hold up. So now it's not just Ichiban hallucinating? <laughs> you boys can talk nonsense some other time. We're in a fight here. Listen, I appreciate your concern, both of you. But letting others fight my battles has never been my thing. So I can't just sit back on the sidelines. Besides, I could use a warm-up for the cages. Fine. Just try not to overdo it, okay? You're going to regret this. Oh, so that's how they explain the enemies. Is oh no, he caught the Ichiban. Here we go. You really want to do this? You guys actually have some decent health. Oh, he's dead. Allow me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Was the lady screaming or cheering? Oh, yeah, I expected that. Oh, that was a cheap hit. All right, Sung Hui. So she's a party member in the game. Interesting. I actually didn't expect that. You doing all right, Kiryu-san? Yeah, thanks. Glad you guys were with me. No, no. If anything, it's the other way around. I mean it, though. Really. If it wasn't for you two, I never would have seen through Kasuga's eyes. Oh? When he first told me about it, I didn't believe him. But having allies at your side changes how you view the world. It really does make you feel like a hero. Hiryu-san? What the heck, so the battle visions are limited to you and Ichiban? Guess that's something special then, huh? <laughs> what, you'd rather be hallucinating monsters too? Uh, maybe not so much. Well, in any case, I believe we were on a mission. Right. Oh, wait, so if I get... Due to Kazuka's influence, enemies will also appear differently, Val. To cure you. Yeah, okay, so Kazuka is just very contagious. Oh, cure yourself. There's this garage nearby called Romance Workshop. We used to get our weapons spruced up there. Do you like checking it out? The girl who runs the place is damn is damn capable. Especially considering how unsupervised this part of town is. Is that another crack at me? It's not my responsibility for every block of a gene show. Besides, this workshop of yours, forget it. You'll huh? see. Huh? Uh huh. Sounds good to me. You always found places like the like that worthwhile. Oh, so what is it closed down? Yeah, it's it let's get <laughs> No, I can't. Oh I definitely oh I don't have that much money. We do not have that Alright, yeah, so we wanna go over there. A uh, Julie's Gear Works Japan. Oh no. Oh wow, there's a lot of Ooh, things nearby. Let's keep going. Ooh, let's keep going. Yeah. Smells like curry. That sense he was resistible. You said it. I'll eat curry even if I'm not hungry. I actually really like preparing it too. If you make a bunch and let it sit for a week, it enhances the taste. Wait, hold on. A week? Wouldn't it go rancid? You'll either end up with a rich, deep flavor. Or food poisoning. The ultimate gamble. The forbidden cuisine. Some stakes are too high to gamble with. Yeah, no. Things are going well. Yeah. 
I mean, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not eating weak old. I never had curry I in my it? life. I don't think I want curry nice. weak old curry. Ooh, hand mirror of re. Give me a second. The only person I can think of that goes to is you. And mirror. Oh, there it is. Oh, never mind. It just nullifies charm. I thought it was a special item. Yeah, that's a lot of. Oh, yeah, the entire map. Holy cow. Wait, does that mean. Hmm. The game's gonna be split into two parts. A Jincho. And Hawaii. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, that's. They're purple. Nope, nope, nope. Listen, I might be causing a cure, but that's not happening. Huh. I should get a new glasses case. Hmm? Something wrong with the one you have? No, but I'd like a prettier one. Just in the case. Hmm. Oh, no pun intended. I'm just a sucker for a pretty case. Shit. Wait. Two puns in a row. You're on a roll. Seems to be the case. All right. Stop. Hey, I'm I'm gonna gonna I'm gonna you gotta fight the homeless now. You're going to regret this. I see the hungry, hungry homeless come back. Okay. Here we go. Think you can handle this? I'm on the roll. Yeah. Learning more every day. Oh, enhance essence of hammer. Hell yeah. Power slumber. There's more where this came from. Sadistic kill. Okay. Zaki Yelp, O oh Canada. Oh, Canada! Wait, no, listen. I listen. I hit Y. Mm. Oh, no. What is happening? What? Um. Hello? What was that? Um, can I. Hello? Game? Are you alive? Um. You're going to regret this. Um, that's very weird. Allow me. You want some? Yeah. Watch the hold up. Watch this. That is. Damn, one hit. I'm on a roll. Let's go. Empress Claw. I'm curious. In for the kill. Oh, yes. Never mind. I sucked at that. Here we go. Sorry about that. Hard to bear fight. Oh, more DVDs. Is there a movie that you want to see? Not really. Jungi rented a pile of them the other day. Apparently, he finally found a copy of this drama that he's wanted to watch. Actually, did he ever return those? I swear I saw them in front of his monitor earlier. He's very talented, but he can be a little scatterbrained. You're surprisingly protective of him. I doubt he's actually that helpless. 
Well, I do tend to coddle him a bit. That's just another aspect of how you two support each other. But double-checking that return date is probably not a bad idea. Ugh, what a pain. Things are going well. Yep. This one's easily Namba. Trash. Mountain of trash. In the middle of the city. Hey, hey curious on watch yourself. Hmm? What's wrong? You never know what kind of wildlife's hiding in there. I once got attacked by a raccoon at that heap. Those things are vicious. I barely defended my spot. What's that look for? I figured you'd think I was courageous. You couldn't just let the raccoon have the trash mountain? All right. <laughs> What's a raccoon? Raccoons are cute little critters, but my god. It's Julie's Gearworks. Ah. Hmm. Is this it? Yeah. I mean, it should be. The romance workshop shut down. You really didn't what? know? What? Of course I didn't know. I don't understand. Did she go out business without us? No, no. Apparently, word of her got around so far that some headhunter from America got her a cushy Silicon Valley job. It's any cons consultation. I hear she's only in it to hone her skill set. She wants to come back someday and make her workshop better than ever. Wow, that's actually... Huh. Good for her. Of course, she could just leave the garage full of heavy duty machinery sitting unattended, so she found people to run it out. The people running it are competent. I occasionally come here myself. However, the lions. The lion. Yeah, the lion's share went. Uh, the lion's share went to some place in Hawaii. Hmm. So I guess if we need equipment to maintain, this is where we go. <laughs> Hawaii, so, huh? Do you think it could be hmm, a small world? Well, let's go see what they have to offer. Ooh! Fancy Star Online 2! Oh, one one second, one second, one second! Where, 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 where? You, you, you. I need to know. Is it the song I'm thinking of? No. I really do like Fantasy Star Online 2. Played it actually quite a bit when this came out in the US. Then NG happened and boy. Remember, never touched the sense. Oh, we don't need a homeless guy weapon. I could maybe make her Oh, wait, well, yeah, that's not a weapon for her either. Oh, assassin. Oh, jeez, your weapons are expensive and I don't have anything. Oh, investment. I'm too poor for that. Weapon upgrades. Arigato. Yeah, there's not much I can do. I'm a broken, have nothing. I'm a sorry individual. Yeah, Fantasy Star Online 2. Great game. And I was so excited for NG. That just ruined everything. Come to Allo Happy Tours. We're running a special campaign at the moment. Please, step in and see. Hmm. Allo Happy Tours, huh? Same travel agency Ichiban the others were using in Hawaii. I didn't know they had a Yokohama branch. Come by for all the information on our photo rally, r rally event going on now. Hmm. Hear that? Wonderful. I wonder if they got our happy room uh, there we could use. That'd be useful. You're right. Let's go see. It's really weird there's an aloe happy here. Just saying. Yep, there it is. Which I'll probably be calling it soon. Oh, wait, no. There it is. Well, that's just a room. Yeah, let's go, actually. So, on the morning news, they had this segment on divination. 
According to that, my lucky color is pink today. Huh. Wouldn't have guessed you're into that sort of thing. I mean, I don't go out of my way to follow that stuff. But once it grabs my attention, I get a little curious. I can relate to that. Although, I don't have anything pink on today. Not even a single accessory. Guess that means I'm all out of luck. If you look in the mirror, I think you'll realize just how lucky you are. <laughs> what about the color of your hair? Um, oh, right. Things are going well. Uh-huh. Mmm, the smell of yakisoba always brings to mind summer festivals. It's been quite a while since I've been to a festival. Did you ever play at the booths? Well, it's not like I went all that often. I was pretty good at catching goldfish, though. I would spot a fish that had its guard down and track its movements for a while before scooping it up with a flick of my wrist. I can catch tons of them. However many you want, easy peasy. Those goldfish don't stand a chance against the valiant leader of the Komi Jewel, huh? If I ever need to take on some fish, I'll be counting on you, Sunny. All right. She likes cat. Okay. Hmm. Now, what about this with those shoes? Bond level 10. I can make her tennis ace, but I don't... I, I can make her that, which honestly suits her. Not gonna lie. I don't... Well, actually... I could equip her weapon on her. Oh, please. Opinions? Yes. An important decision. Uh, whatever works. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't see as a linebacker. You could be this. Honestly, that doesn't look too bad. Isn't bad. Just find something presentable. How are you meant to choose? Maybe this is right. Let's give this a try. Hey, how you doing? I'm replacing the, you with the hero's knife. So the person I'm currently... Oh, okay, I forgot the combat sword. There. Now let me make sure no one has any... Things. No. Might as well just check. No. There's a train gear, but that's a whole other thing. Okay. There we go. I'm gonna call here. I know there's a lot more things I can do, and I've only gone for, you know, a little time. This and that, but I got work tomorrow. I'm tired. I want to lie down. Um, but we are now playing as Kiryu, and we're back in the Jincho. Which is nice, honestly. I was wondering if we're going back to Jincho. And on top of that, Song Hui is actually a party member this time. Because I remember in the last game we mentioned it. Hey, Song Hui, you should join us. And she's like, yeah, sure. But then Jugin Han's like, you have a lot of people to help. You have to put back the Gomi Jewel and all, all this and that. And she's like, you're right. But having her at my party is really cool. But then I'm wondering, where's Zhao and where's Jugin Han then? Be cool to have them. And uh, also, uh, yeah. You know, Ichiban's girlfriend who hasn't talked to him in a year. Which is ouch. <laughs> I've got some more fight in me. That's good. But yeah, I'm gonna see you next time. I think it's about time for me to call for now. I'm tired, so I'll see ya and bye.